Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got ourselves a logging operation taking place. We've got this area in here that we are clearing. Uh, clearing for a pretty cool reason. We're not gonna tell you guys just yet. We're gonna kind of go along, clear it. And then there's gonna be a surprise if you decide to follow the series. But here's what we got going on. We've got some uh, big trees that we've dropped here. Right now I'm hooked up to the tractor. You can kind of see this area here that we've been clearing. Uh, I just punched back in through here for the first time. I was able to get to the backside of this area, but I haven't been able to get through there. You can see there we've got a couple of, couple of trees that we dropped and we're milling logs. So we need to come and get these trees. And in the process of milling these logs, we're also clearing this area. So it is dual purpose. It is working out for us uh, for multiple reasons. You can see over my shoulder just more more trees down and then what is kind of this open but very brushy area and it's this brushy area that we are clearing out it's mostly flat it doesn't look totally flat it's mostly flat it's got a lot of stumps from old logging that's taken place those stumps are going to have to come out you can't really see stumps unless you get to walking in that stuff and that stuff is thick and it stays thick but once you cut it, it turns in the grass field. And I know because I did it all out there. So we're working on clearing land. We're working on milling logs. And as we're milling these logs, we're actually milling posts and beam for one project. And when, then we are milling board and batten siding for another project. The tiny house project, which a lot of you are waiting on because you keep messaging me telling me you want to see what happened or where did it go and it just went on a slight pause but now we are back at it we'll get up here we'll uh we'll drag this log in i've got i've got about four more logs that i have to drag in i need to cut three of them into eight footers um, the rest of these logs are currently at 16 foot I need two 16 foot beams, two 12 foot beams, the rest eight footers, and then the rest is firewood. Let's drag this thing out of here. We're in the Massey Ferguson 1835, guys. This tractor does a fantastic job of skidding out logs pretty much everything that i needed to do it does the only thing that is undersized about it is when i lift 1200 pound bales i can't do it uh, it's maxed out i need counterbalance uh, but the hydraulics are pretty much maxed out on it it doesn't love to lift those big bales i gotta watch where i'm going so I've kind of thought for a while now, man, I think I, I, I probably should have bought one size bigger on the tractor, went just a little bigger. We should, should make that corner. I've kind of thought that I should go or I should have gone one size bigger on the tractor uh, but that bumps up the tractor a good bit and I don't think I would have had the maneuverability with a little bit bigger tractor that I, I really need on this property this property is very tight um, it's not big open fields it's not pasture land just yet we're turning it into that but with that I need the maneuverability uh, and even even now I get this thing into some tight spots where you gotta do the 20 point turn to get around or get an angle on something. So it's been good for what we have used it for. That's a good straight log. A couple of these logs have been bowed. Have been bowed and so you just gotta be careful when you're milling it. You gotta cut the bow out basically. Um, and that means just kind of pre-planning all your cuts, positioning your cuts positioning the log before you start cutting just small things small things that you learn through the experience of milling
log deck. Here are the posts that we have been uh, milling. We milled these up last night along with some other boards and different kind of stuff. Um, but mostly just got these three posts out as well as board and batten for what I'm going to show you right over here. Those are three, uh, I take it back, they're two eight by eights and one seven and a half by seven and a half because that is what the log gave us and you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. The mill set up, we've got boards over here ready to go. These need to get cut down. You can see that some of these have, uh, some of these have bark on one side. We've been running them through the table saw and then, um, straight straight line in one side running through the table saw getting that bark off and then it looks great all right i'm gonna flip you guys around here really quick and show you the progress on the tiny house bam got some boards up no batten yet roofs on you guys uh if you followed this series you've seen uh, most of this get built you just didn't see this part right here which is the board I uh, got a window installed, got a door installed. All that stuff is very dirty, needs to get power washed off. Stuff's been in storage uh, for a good bit now. And if you listen in the background, you can hear the new puppies. Let's go see some puppies. They are locked up and they're not happy about it. They're at the age where they want to follow mom and dad into the woods, go running around and get lost. We don't want that to happen. So they're locked up. What's up, you little jailbird? As you can see, there's a difference there. There are blue and red healers in there, as well as livestock guardian pups. All the dogs got pregnant, same week. And so we've got a bunch of puppies. Uh, they're like eight, nine weeks right now, and we've actually sold through a few of them. They're just now starting to find new homes, which is fantastic. And the money, from the puppies is going to the kids for something that they're doing. It's the big surprise I'm not telling you guys. The money for the from the puppies is going to build what the kids are wanting to do out here on this chunk of property that we're out clearing. Another example of the circle of life on the farm. One animal produces something, you sell it to create something for another animal somewhere on the farm. Revolving money. If you guys are very intrigued by what I'm not telling you about that back area and what we're using it for, hit the subscribe button, stick around. Um, We'll be exposing it here pretty soon, but we're, we're on the hunt for what we're looking for. And we've semi-located it. We're now just figuring out how to get it here. If that makes little sense to no sense. Take a guess, take a wild stab, guys, as to what you think is happening on the back property, what you think puppy money is going to. Put it in the comments below. All right, guys, I'm going to get this log unhooked. I got to go back and get some more, and then uh, we'll start milling. So that is it for this video. I'll give you guys a milling video after this, and I'll show you guys uh, what we're doing, how we're cutting. Milling is a cool process to watch, I think. It's fun to take a log and turn it into boards, usable material for infrastructure. It's a fun, fun process. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.